Hey everyone, Scott and Gage here. Uh, we're in Skyrim, uh, showing you guys the build mode for uh, for Skyrim. Now, I know I built most of this house, and uh, I started uh, recording a video, but then I kind of screwed up, and there's no way to reset the house. So we just got to kind of pick up. You'll get the gist of everything here in just a minute. Now, when you first get this, uh, we're in Falkreath, uh, which is a town in Skyrim. I'll show you on the map. Right down here. Uh, here's Whiterun up here, which is the, the main town that you first run into in the game that you can use as a base of, of uh, as a player home, player base type thing. But then you you travel down here to Falkreath and you talk to the Jarl or the, the guy in charge and uh, he'll tell you, you know, that he's looking for a Thane but you got to help some people in the town. So you go and help three people. They're real simple little things. You got to make a delivery for one, steal a letter for another uh, and then another guy you go in back of his house to you can go in the back of his house to his farm pick some crops and sell them back to him and you've helped your three people but when you first get to Falkreath to get the spot where you can build a home uh, you talk to the Jarl and he gives you a quest you go out and do the quest it's not very hard you come back and talk to him and he'll allow you to buy property to build a home and then to become Thane which really the only benefit to that is he gives you a house carl uh which is like a servant uh who can also be your follower or uh, followers are the like the companions in fallout uh, they follow you around they fight with you things like that so uh then you go you got to talk to the steward which is in the same house as the jarl and you buy the land it's five five thousand gold to buy the land and then uh, you visit your land and the only thing that's here is this drafting table this bench this work carpenter's bench and the anvil uh, now you have to have the hearthfire DLC for this and then I've downloaded the uh, hearthfire building materials mod which adds this chest and it just gives you an overabundance of everything you need to build a house so then to start building your house, you come over to the drafting table and it'll tell, you know, you start off with a small house. So once you choose the small house, you'll exit out of it and you'll see the plot of land has been marked off. And then to build it, you use the carpenter's bench. Now the only thing that the hearthfire building mod doesn't give you is the sawn logs. And you need a lot of those. Uh, because those never actually are in your inventory that's why they're not in the chest but the mod does give you a lot of gold to go and buy them now to buy them you have to go to the town uh, or wherever a, you have to go to a sawmill I went to the one in Falkreath and talked to a, a guy named Boland uh, and mainly you can find in Falkreath you find him at the general goods uh, shop uh, him and his brother uh, Bolden runs the sawmill and Bolden's brother runs the shop but that's where Bolden is at most of the time and you can buy sawn logs 20 at a time for 200 gold so you need quite a bit of them but there's quite a lot of gold in the mod to compensate for them not being in that mod so once you have enough that's when you come back or that's when you use the carpenter's bench and it build, you know, it builds everything. Now I've I've not built my northern wing here, uh, which once you built the small home, then come back to the drafting table, and you'll see it adds different wings, like the north wing. The you know I've added an armory, a cellar, an enchanter's tower, an entryway, and the main hall. And it starts out with the main hall, and then you can work on your side 
uh, wings, and you do have to do them one at a time. You pick like the north wing, and then you exit out of the drafting table, and then you come to the carpenter's table, and you use it, and you see there comes up house. So then you just build everything that you need. And then once there's nothing left, then you can exit out of the carpenter's bench. And your wing is built in the back. So then if you come back to the drafting, then if you were, want to work on another wing, if you haven't built it already, you come back to the drafting table and you pick whatever room that you want to, to build. And then you see there it says remove workbenches. There's workbenches inside the house. And see, it, it, it lets you build like an animal pen, uh, stables, uh, you know, different things around the house on the outside too. So then you go in, and I'm moving so slow because I'm over encumbered because I took everything out of the mod. But you see here, there's nothing here really. And there's these workbenches inside, and this is how you decorate it. I personally like having everything. It really fills out the room. As you see here. And you see I went pretty fast so the game needs to catch up and is spawning everything I just built. I really wish it had a build mode like Fallout where you can place each individual thing and you can build your home however you want. This isn't quite like that. Uh, this isn't near the sophisticated build mode that Fallout has. And once you finish that room, you can go into your next room. You see here, this is the main hall. And here's your workbench for the main hall. So then you use it. And then there's everything you can build in your main hall. And it gives you everything. The mounted heads on the wall, the lights, the tables, the barrels, you know, everything that you need to decorate is already there and you can see here it's already starting to to phase in from where I've built it and it also does the upstairs also as you see there so then you just go from room to room using the workbenches to build what you need. And like I said, I like having everything in there because it just fills it out a lot more. And once you've gotten rid of all of that, then everything starts to phase its way in that you've built and see there's stuff's already starting to show up that you've built and there'll be a bed right here you know all of the chairs and containers and and things like that you know display cases and things like that uh, the display cases are really a real pain in the butt uh, I've downloaded a mod because you have to uh, manually place things in them and it's really really difficult it is not like placing things in Fallout uh, like this is a dagger rack and in order to place something in there you have to go to your weapons uh, I don't particularly have a well I do have a dagger 
I believe it's this one. And you see there, it places it in there for you. That is a mod. It won't do that for you. And then this is the back end of, of uh, this house. But that's how you decorate everything. Uh, you see there, you know, I mean, the shelves have been added, the walls, the weapon racks, uh, the beds, the display cases. There's the weapon racks there. And in order to use those, uh, you go to your weapons and you pick a, a weapon that you want to place on there. Like, I found this ghost blade. You equip it, then you activate the, the weapon plaque ah I dropped it instead of activating it so you equip it then you activate the weapon rack well it may not place that one there <laughs> I may have to choose another one All right, we'll see if this sword works. Actually, no. We'll use the Blade of Falkreath. How about that one? See there, it adds the blade to the weapon rack. And so you just go around to each individual room, and this is how you uh, decorate it. You know, there's also a cellar where you can add uh, a forge to make weapons and make them better. And there's the doorway to the, the cellar there in the floor. So, I mean, it's pretty cool. You know, it, I wish it was a lot more in-depth like Fallout. But still, this is, you know, it's not bad. You know, it's still pretty cool. And then after you get everything built, you can talk to your house, Carl, and tell them that you're looking for a steward for your house. Like, say you want a, a different follower, you can make this house, Carl, the steward, and they will stay here at this house, and you can have them work on it, go buy things for you, and just stay here at this house. So it's pretty cool. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. That's always much appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe to us. We got more videos coming out. Uh, gonna do a lot more with uh, Fallout here pretty soon. Uh, I'm still trying to come up with little builds for that. Uh, because as I've found out, mods will be out for Fallout this month. So hopefully within the next couple of weeks, we'll have mods for Fallout. And, you know, because I'm loving the mods in Skyrim. Uh, I really am really liking this game. Uh, there are some things, you know, I really wish it had a build mode like Fallout, but, you know, this still isn't that bad. I like this at all, you know, and all. I think it decorates things very nicely for your player home. So as always, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.